30 days to go and I think the excitement is really starting to build. Starting to realise that the boat race is actually coming around a lot quicker than you thought it was. Like it always seemed like it was so far away and then now um, it's kind of sneaking up quite quickly. We've got a bit of sparring under our belts already but we've got another set of sparring coming up and then the last set is a couple of weeks before the boat race and I think the weeks in between are just going to go by like a flash. Really the, the, the very short amount of time we have and the intensity of preparing for one single, single event, I think, it's, it really makes it uh, really intense and really high stakes everything we do and kind of feeling that there's no really preparation, it's just that day and everything is going to depend on that. Uh, there's a little bit of nerves, I think it would be wrong to say we weren't a little bit jittery. Certainly the mood is, is very high. I think everyone's, everyone's really excited and the adrenaline will, will start to rise from here. And it's definitely a case of excitement as opposed to sort of the nerves getting the better of us. I think everyone's just raring to go and want to put down our speed and do what we can do. It's really exciting coming in on the first day and not knowing everybody and what we're all going to be able to achieve and then building that together, learning from each other, bonding together as a group. And that whole process is so exciting and it hasn't gotten any less exciting over the years. It's still my favourite part of the whole thing. The fact that you can look back and see how far you've come from from that first day in September is what definitely what keeps me coming back. Now that we're getting to 30 days to go and the crew announcements and the media and the photographs um, and the visualisations and the sparring, yeah, it's, it's starting to feel real now. Mm -hmm.